Hi everyone, this is Greg Fox. I'm the creator, composer, and keyboard player for the Renaissance Rock Orchestra. And I want to tell you a little bit about our second release called In Times of Old. One of the most amazing things about this record is that it has 27 different artists on it. Rock stars, well-known musicians that you know from bands that you've been hearing about and listening to your whole life. So it was a really fun record to write and record. 27 different artists, two Rock and Roll Hall of Fame members. Quite amazing. We have Howard Leese, the guitar player from Heart, and Paul Rogers. And for me to have Alan White on one of my records was a big thing. Being a keyboard player myself and a big prog rock guy, a huge Yes fan, was quite a bucket list thing. And so thank you very much, Alan, for being on a song called Secrets in the Sand. That's the second song on this record. We're going to talk about all the songs on the record real quick and about all the artists that are on there. Oops. We have four amazing vocalists on this record. And because of that, we have some great sounds and tonalities and styles and energy. So uh, that's a really fun thing as you listen to the record, hearing the highs and lows of the different types of vocal experiences and the lyrics that go along with them, the meaning of all the tracks that we have on this record. Because it crosses a lot of different boundaries in a lot of ways. We have styles that, that are very Zeppelin-ish. We have some prog things here. We have some Yes sounds. We have some Iron Maiden sounds, some Kansas sounds. So it covers a lot of territory musically, and I'm very proud of that too as a composer. So uh, yeah, with the vocalist though, we start with Robin McCauley. We have Robin McCauley on three tracks on this record. And of course, Robin was with uh, the Macaulay Shanker group way back in the day, had the huge hit Anytime with Michael Shanker, with Macaulay Shanker group. He also sang for Survivor. Robin sings on three tracks on this record and I'm just so happy to have him on the record. Uh, really an amazing thing. And uh, we also have Mark Bowles, Mark Robert Bowles, on track number one, a track called The Ice Age Coming, Mark has one of the most amazing voices in rock and roll. He has, well, he sang the entire trilogy record with Ingvay Malmsteen back in the day. Arguably one of the finest Malmsteen records ever made. And uh, the quality of his voice is just outstanding. He's also sang and toured with Ted Nugent and with Dawkin. The last track on the record is a song called The Maker of Dreams, which has Tony Harnell from TNT singing it. Tony has just a remarkably unique voice, and, and the song he sings, The Maker of Dreams, is a very epic prog-like trap. It's almost a, a rock opera. It has several different sections and themes that it goes through. And so, uh, also during that song, you'll hear Sean Cowie, amazing female vocalist that I've worked a lot with in Rating the Rock Vault here in Las Vegas. But Sean has also sung for Meatloaf, uh, Dweezil Zappa, and uh, she kind of pops in here and there in the Maker of Dreams is very, very cool. And she does the entire bridge, which is a section that is very inspirational. And we kind of change the style of, of that particular section of this rock opera piece, this epic rock piece. And uh, it has a little bit of a Broadway feel to it, a little bit operatic at the same time, a, kind of a blend of both. And last but not least, when we're talking about Colas, is Brett Kaiser, a really phenomenal voice. And he does a performance on a song called My Lonely Heart. That is going to knock your socks off. What do you hear? You go crazy. The song is a, probably the most Zeppelin-ish track on the record. And uh, it has drums by Ben Smith from Heart, bass by Phil Suzanne from Ozzy, and also Billy Idol. And so the combination of talent on it is amazing. That brings me to guitar players, as long as we're talking about it, because on that track, My Lonely Heart, the guitar solo is done by none other than Bumblefoot from Guns N' Roses' Ron Paul. And it is a blazing hot solo, and uh, what an honor to have Bumblefoot play on this track. So thank you very much, Ron. Really appreciate that. That's My Lonely Heart. The rhythm guitars on that song and on several songs on the record are done by Steve Conley from Plotsam and Jetsam. And I love Steve's tone. His ideas are great and he really helped make In Times of Old happen. So thank you very much for that. Appreciate that, Steve. Other guitar players, besides having Bumblefoot, we, as I mentioned before, we have Howard Lees from Heart. He plays on track number eight, Alexander's Symphony. It's a very trans-Siberian orchestra type track, all instrumental, very neoclassical sounding. And uh, Howard Lease plays the guitar solo in that track. And uh, it just smoke, it really brings the track up to a whole other level when Howard starts playing that guitar solo. Thank you so much, Howard. Really appreciate you being uh, on a Renaissance Rock Orchestra track. Also on that track, Alexander's Symphony, uh, the guitars were, uh, the rhythm guitars were done by Elvis Lederer. Uh, here from Las Vegas. 
Elvis has played with Blue Man Group for years and gives us a really awesome David Gilmore-ish kind of a style intro on the piece that, that I absolutely love. Let's stick with guitar players for a minute because uh, we've been talking about Howard Lees, we were talking about Bumblefoot. We also have uh, George Lynch on uh, a track called The Author of Mystery. This is Robin McCauley's favorite Renaissance rock orchestra song that we've ever done. And uh, it has a blazing hot guitar solo by George Lynch, and uh, you're gonna love it. You, you have to make sure you hear that track. Uh, the guitar is also rhythm guitar is done by Steve Conley on that track. And we're, I'm gonna get to the whole drummer thing here in a minute, but as long as we're talking about guitars, we have to talk about Joel Hoekstra too. The last track that I mentioned with Tony Harnell on guitar has uh, Joel Hoekstra from Trans Siberian Orchestra, White Snake, of course, and Cher as of late. So, uh, and oh, it's, it's unbelievable. Joel really put his heart and soul into the song, The Maker of Dreams, and the solo will blow your mind. It's beautiful, thank you, thank you so much, Joel, and the entire piece on guitar was written so well. Yeah, other guitar players we have on the record, track number one, The Ice Age Cometh, which has Mark Bowles singing, has Robbie Lochner from Jack Russell's Great White, does all the guitars on that track, and a beautiful, beautiful solo. Uh, track number two, Secrets in the Sand, which is a track that uh, Robin McCauley sings on also. This has on guitar uh, Mark Mickle from the Pillbugs, and he really brought a unique flavor to the piece. It's a very yes sounding piece, so it's one of my favorites. And uh, Mark Mickle did some amazing kind of psychedelic sounding things on it. Uh, I love the vibe of it, it's very cool. It has a little bit of a, a Eastern Indian kind of a feel to it, Secrets in the Sand. And uh, the guitar solo was by the remarkable George Cintron, another favorite guitar solo. He, he really brings that yes sound to Secrets in the Sand. And then to top it off, we, you know, I have to mention as long as I'm here, Alan White, who plays drums on that track. Remarkable, bucket list, rock and roll hall of famer. I never would have thought in my life that uh, I'd have a yes member playing uh, one of my songs on one of my records, and I'm so, so grateful. And, and I, I, I just love that track. So yeah, some amazing guitar players all throughout the entire record. Track number three is J.S. Rocket. Once again, has Elvis Letterer from Blue Man Group. And uh, he brings a really remarkable neoclassical metal style to this instrumental J.S. Rock. Uh, a piece that was originally written by Bach that I took a minute and a half piano warm-up piece that I played my whole life and that I love. And I extended that into a almost five minute piece with a lot of new material in it. It's very powerful. It's a fan favorite for everybody. The first song we ever released, J.S. Rock. And I call it that because it's a play on words from Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach. That's why I call it that. Uh, we have some remarkable bass players. I mentioned Phil Suzanne from Ozzy and Billy Idol. He plays on uh, My Lonely Heart. Does it just a killer job. That's a very Led Zeppelin-ish type piece, probably the closest to the Zeppelin sound that, that we have. And uh, most of the record is done by my best friend, for most of my life and my bass player, Mikey Bones. The unbelievable Mikey Bones. We played in so many bands together and we started this project together. Mikey passed away in 2017 and that was a heartbreaking experience for me to lose a friend and such a brilliant musician that I uh, created this dream with. And so Mikey lives forever on this record. Michael Gerbino. You can hear him on In Times of Old. By the way, this record is on Spotify. You can listen to it anytime on Spotify and most streaming platforms. So it's easy to listen to and just drop by anywhere and, and give it a listen. But uh, Mikey Bones does most of the bass. And uh, then we also have on Alexander Symphony, we do have Francesco Di Cosmo playing bass. Uh, Francesco's been with Finn Lizzy and toured with Evanescence. And he does maybe my favorite bass part on this record. Uh, a song, Alexander Symphony, very prog bass part, a lot of energy really moving, uh, really brought it to the table with, with the bass on that, so it's remarkable. The last thing I'm gonna talk about real quickly about the record is the drummers, because as great as all of that is, all the vocalists, all the guitar players, amazing talent, rock and roll hall of fame inductees, we also have nine different drummers on this record. Track number one, The Ice Age Coming, has Vinnie Apice from Black Sabbath, Ronnie James Dio, legendary drummer. Bucket list moment for me to have him on that, and it's a remarkable drum track. Track number two, Secrets in the Sand, Alan White from Yes. I don't need to say anything more. You know, my favorite band, bucket list thing for me, J.S. Rock, Scott Rockenfield from Queens Right. My Lonely Heart, drums, Ben Smith from Heart. Powerful. 
great, great story. I will tell you guys sometime about how that drum track came about. Uh, well, I'll tell you now. Ben was in town doing a show with Hart at uh, the House of Blues, and we were there to see the show. Uh, after the show, we were talking about how we recorded this record and how close the studio was, and Ben said, let's go, let's do it. I want to be on the record. We went down there, oh my gosh, it was a party, and he just slayed it. We have videos of that on YouTube that are very, very fun. Thank you very much, Ben. The Author of Mystery, track number six. This has Brian Tishy on it, one of the most powerful drummers there is in rock and roll today. He's played with Whitesnake, played with Foreigner, played with Billy Idol. I play with Brian a lot in the Led Zeppelin all-star band, the Moby Dicks, that plays at Counts of Amped here in uh, Las Vegas. We'll be doing a show July 23rd and 24th, as a matter of fact. Brian is the living essence of a John Bonham drummer, and he really brings it to the Author of Mystery, which Robin McCauley sings on. This is Robin McCauley's favorite song, The Author of Mystery, the best song, according to him, that Renaissance Rock Orchestra has ever done. Alexander's Symphony on drums. <laughs> so powerful, one of my favorite drum tracks. This is done by Brent Fitz. Slash is drummer, Alice Cooper, and uh, Brent is phenomenal. We did this in the Tone Factory, and it's one of my favorite drum tracks on the record. On uh, the ninth song, we haven't talked about this yet, it's a song called To Be With You. And uh, I wrote this song for uh, the love of my life, Monique Giannetta, who passed away in 2015. And uh, even though uh, her death inspired me to write this, because it's a story of, of uh, our life together, she was a vocalist for me in a Seattle band called Savannah way back in the day, and a remarkable vocalist. But uh, yeah, so it's a, it's a story about meeting her and working together in music and how it inspired both of our lives, and I think you really enjoy it a lot. But the drums are done by Roxy Petrucci from Vixen. Very, very cool. How cool is that, right? So uh, yeah, Roxy really brought it to the table with the, with the drum track on this and that's sung by Robin McCauley, and it has a little bit of a Floydish feel. I would also say that uh, in some places it goes into a, a Super Tramp vibe, one of my favorite bands, so uh, I think you'll like that. The Maker of Dreams, last track on the record. I've already mentioned that it's an epic rock song that goes on and on with multiple movements and is sung by Tony Harnell with guitars by Joel Hoekstra. And, uh, but it also has drums by ACDC drummer Simon Wright. Unbelievable, so powerful, kind of a bit of a progish piece, and Simon did remarkable on it. Uh, it's one of my favorite tracks, too. That's uh, the last track, the maker of dreams on this record. In times of old, you can listen to it on Spotify. If you did want to get a copy, you can get it in our merch and our new website, but you can also get it by DMing me anywhere. Go to Facebook, Renaissance Rock Orchestra, and uh, send me a message if you'd like a copy. There's only about 30 left of this. I'm sure we'll have more as the record deal thing comes together. But uh, yes, you can also DM me on Instagram, get a copy. And uh, once again, make sure you go to our YouTube. Please subscribe, please tell your friends, and get a copy of In Times of Old, or listen on Spotify, or whatever your favorite streaming platform is. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And uh, pay attention, the Renaissance Rock Orchestra is coming for you. We have a lot more music to talk about, including the new record, A Song of Hope 2020, that we wrote during COVID. So uh, in my next video, I'll tell you about that one. Take care. See you later.